In this presentation, we will look at the steps to create a digital cinema package from an image sequence of DPX files. CubeMaster Pro's workflow is based on the DCI object model of track files, reels, and compositions. So the procedure requires the creation of individual track files for each of the image, sound, and subtitle source files, which are then combined into reels and compositions. To create a new 2D track file from a sequence of DPX files, select New Image Sequence from the Track File menu options, and then browse to the location of the first and last file in the image sequence. Alternatively, you can also drag and drop the image sequence directly into the track files pane. Just browse to the location where your image sequence exists, select the first file in the sequence, hold the control key on the keyboard and select the last file in the sequence. Now, drag these two files into the track files pane. Name the files appropriately and browse to a location where you would like to save this newly created sequence file. Do remember that the sequence of images is not being duplicated. Now validate the sequence to verify that all files in the numbered sequence exist. Clicking import creates a new track file, which is a pointer to the original DPX sequence. No new media is created at this time. Create the corresponding audio track file, which, for the purposes of this demo, we will assume is available as six mono WAV files. To create an audio track file from six individual WAV files, use the new Multi File Audio Source option in the drop down menu and browse to each file according to the channel assignment. Combine these six files into a single interleaved MXF file by selecting a destination folder and clicking the interleave button. Shift select both the image sequence track file and the audio track file and drag them into the reels pane. Name it appropriately in the reel trim window that opens. This source reel may be previewed by clicking the trim button. However, it must be noted that the ability to play back an image sequence is entirely dependent on the speed of the hard drives on your system. A single SATA drive is incapable of delivering the necessary throughput required to play back a DPX sequence in real time. In this case, it is recommended that you first encode the DPX sequence into an MXF file and then preview it. You may add sync points or trim points to the image and sound individually or add an in and an out point for both together at the reel level. Drag this reel into the composition pane to create a composition. If there is more than one reel, shift click each of the reels and then drag them together into the composition pane. Right click this source composition and choose the encode option to bring up the encoder window. It is at this stage that the image sequence will be converted into a JPEG 2000 MXF file. Use the settings option to change the data rate of the encoded file if required and also to check the aspect ratio and the frame rate. If any adjustments need to be made, use the appropriate pre-processing filter. For example, use the geometry filter to resize, crop or pad the source file to fit DCI's aspect ratio specifications. The next filter you will normally need to use is the color space conversion filter, which converts your source 
from the RGB color space to the DCI XYZ color space. Keep in mind that different source files require different color space conversions, so your pre-processing option should take into account the nature of the source file first. Now that you've applied the required processing filters to convert your source to the correct aspect ratio and color space, select a destination folder for the MXF files you're about to create and then click the encode button. Cubemaster Pro's encoding speed is dependent on the CPU configuration of the host computer and the hard drive configuration. The more CPU cores, faster the encoding speed. In this case, as you can see, the encoding speed is extremely slow. Once the encoding has been completed, you should preview the encoded composition to ensure that everything is as expected. While previewing the encoded composition, be sure to apply a lookup table that the XYZ color space of the image is converted to the RGB color space of the monitor. Once again, keep in mind that your composition may or may not play back in real time depending on the hard drive configuration of your system. As you can see, in this instance, playback is not in real time. It is recommended that you have at least a two-way striped hard drive configuration to ensure real-time playback of your MXF file. Right-click on the encoded composition and change the aspect ratio to match that of the DCP. You may, at this stage, add other metadata details such as the type of composition, the language, the country, and the ratings. Package the composition by selecting Package option from the right-click drop-down menu. Browse to the location where you intend to save the completed digital cinema package. Preferably, always package to a new folder. Name the package and check to ensure that the right assets are being included in the package. You may edit the name of the CPL if required at this stage. Cubemaster Pro uses the ISDCF naming convention for the CPL. So normally further iterations to the CPL name are not required. The packaging process involves copying the MXF files from their current location to the newly specified location and adding the required metadata files. Therefore, the speed of the packaging process will once again depend on your hard drive configurations. A completed DCP must contain the following. At least one image MXF, one audio MXF, one CPL, one PKL, an asset map, and a wall index. All the files in this folder must now be copied to a distribution drive to be sent to the theater for exhibition. It is highly recommended that this distribution drive be formatted according to DCI specifications in the Linux format. Thank you for watching this presentation. Do visit our support forum for in-depth information on this and other procedures for DCP creation in Cube Master Pro. Bye-bye.